We live in a digital age and in order to get ahead in the world, everybody needs to be aware of it and everybody needs to be a part of it. Now that goes for psychology students too. And when we think about this digital age in which we're in, there really isn't much of a bigger platform than Instagram. Guys, welcome to another week's episode of Get Sick. And this week we're gonna be looking at using Instagram and the power of Instagram for psychology students. Now, the first question you probably wanna ask is why exactly should psychologists or psychology students actually use Instagram in the first place? Like many online platforms, it is widely underutilized by psychology. There's an ability and an opportunity to reach millions with your knowledge and understanding and expertise in the field of psychology. And there are massive opportunities for networking. Almost a billion people a month use Instagram. So if you're wanting to increase your outreach, increase your engagement, and increase your networking opportunities in the field of psychology, then using Instagram can be a really powerful platform. And another question that you might be asking is why exactly am I making a video on this? Well, I'm trying to do more videos specifically for psychology students and for psychologists. And I'm also really passionate about networking and I know how impactful it can be for psychology students studying and for psychologists professional work. The opportunity to grow engagement and grow, and grow influence is massive on these on online platforms and it's not often utilized by psychologists and psychology students. And networking and reaching out and engaging and creating new content on new platforms for psychology is something I'm really, really passionate about. So what exactly should you be doing as a psychologist or a psychology trainee or student on Instagram? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna set up your profile. But when you do that, one of the things I've done and I find real benefits from is actually setting up a business account on Instagram. You get insight into analysis and data and views, for example. You can also create a category for what kind of page you are, if you're an educational website, if you're a personal blog and those kind of things. I'm gonna be putting up some screenshots just kind of here of Get Sites Instagram page and some of the impact and influence and insights that we get from the professional page, or the business page rather, of Get Site, just so you can get a bit of an idea as we go through these points. One of the really important, impactful things that you can do on Instagram as a psychology student or a psychologist is market yourself as an individual or as an, as an institution to increase your engagement and impact. Illustrate your passion for psychology and align the posts that you put up on your Instagram page with that passion. One of the things I often hear about psychology students who are concerned about creating online content or publishing online content is that they feel that they don't have anything to publish. You'd be surprised with how much people are interested in what you do. There are actually a number of different psychology student Instagram pages that have much bigger followings than I do because they publish and post things on a regular basis such as their studying techniques, some of the challenges that they're having with psychology, some of the process in which they go through exam studies and assignments for example. So there's always something that you can post that will add value to others. And as a result that will increase your engagement and your opportunities for networking in the field of psychology. Now for me personally and the Get Sight Instagram page, I actually found that creating Get Sight as an Instagram page itself has been more impactful and has reached more people as a result. I, my Instagram page originally was Fraser underscore Smith um, CSI, I think it was something like that. And that didn't have much of an impact as Get Sight did. So I made sure to change that handle and I've actually only done that in the past few weeks and I've seen massive engagement as a result. Now you might not have that opportunity yet to give a business name or, or an organizational name, one of the things I would encourage you to do is to incorporate the name psychology in your title anyway. You can still create that business account, but if you have a name, you're just your generic name, and you add at the very end maybe CSI or Psy, it gives that impression that you're interested in psychology and that that's what your Instagram page is all about. Now, I made sure in the biography part of my Instagram account to ensure that I was getting across what exactly my Instagram page was all about. It was about psychology. I wanted to publish my YouTube content. I wanted to publish my blog content, some of the podcast stuff that we've been doing recently. And I also wanted to get across the fact that I gave motivational and inspirational quotes on my images as well. I also made sure to post things I've been up to, ventures I've undertaken, conferences I've spoken at or attended. I make sure that I put up the latest uh, developments in GetSight and some of the new ventures that we're going into. I also put up some personal stuff. If I've been writing some notes and things about GetSight or things even about my psychology studies, sometimes even just taking a screenshot of that or a picture of that and posting it on, on Instagram gives a really good personal approach that people seem to really interact well with. Now for you, if you're just starting out on Instagram as a psychology student and want to increase your engagement and your reach as a psychology student, then I've got a few tips for you that you can utilize. 
Start documenting some of the things that you do in your psychological studies or in your psychological work on a daily basis. Perhaps the therapy room that you work in has had a makeover or people haven't seen it before. Maybe you could take a picture of that and post that. Maybe you could take a picture of your study regime, your study notes and some of the images that you maybe use to help you study. You could take a picture or make a comment about a new placement organisation in which you're working. Maybe you could take a picture of you speaking at a conference or attending a conference even. Like I said earlier, at first everybody thinks that they don't have content to publish until they actually start publishing stuff and, and then they realise that some of the content that they put out on their psychological Instagram page can actually have real benefits and can engage multiple different people. Now there's a few extra stuff that I've found really impactful when I've been trying to utilise Instagram to network in the field of psychology. One of the key things that I've found has been really impactful is to write decent descriptions under your images. Whenever I write an Instagram, um, an inspirational quote or a motivational quote, I'll give a little bit of a summary and a little bit more information in the description. I'll also do the same when it comes to publishing my thumbnails that I put up on my YouTube channel of the latest Get Psyched upload. I'll make a description underneath about some of the things that we look at and the fact that they can get the link to that video in my bio. Now, one of the apps that I use often is Focal Mark. And this really helps with hashtags. Now you have a limit of about 30 different hashtags on Instagram on each Instagram post, but Focal Mark really does help you outline what kind of hashtags are most applicable to your field. So obviously what I'll do is I'll enter that app, I'll type in psychology or therapy or mental health or something like that, and it'll give me all the hashtags that are most prominent in that area. Now that's really helped with my engagement. People who have those hashtags or utilize those hashtags or other people who are interested in psychology have actually reached out to me, interacted with my Instagram page and interacted with Get Side as a result of those hashtags. Instagram stories can also be a really, really impactful thing to utilize when you're thinking about networking as a psychology student or a psychologist on Instagram. Here you can post more general stuff, maybe a video of you on your way to uni or a picture of you on your way to uni or entering one of your first exams of the year. One of these things can be put on your Instagram stories a little bit more of a general feel to it, but still giving people an impression of what you do in the field of psychology. One of the things that I've started doing on Instagram that I found massive has actually really impacted my engagement and my networking opportunities is doing live videos and doing Q&A sessions. There are so many different features to Instagram and Instagram stories, all of which I'm not gonna go into. But one of the things that you can do is you can ask people to ask you questions. I'll maybe give a topic on Get Psyched, I'll talk about maybe what they wanna know about mental health, that week or maybe what they want to know about being a psychology trainee and people will inbox me with questions and I can post a video on my stories answering those questions. I answer the question for the individual but I also increase my engagement to other people that might actually be on my Instagram page or might see those videos. One of the other really impactful uh, features of Instagram for psychology students or psychologists is direct messaging. This is a platform that can be super super powerful. One of the things that I've done is I've DM'd some bigger psychology Instagram pages, reached out to them and actually have been able to collaborate in different ways. They've also published some of my content on their Instagram page. Some of them have got into the hundreds of thousands of followers and as a result I've had influxes of followers and my following and engagement has increased as a result. Much like the video I posted a couple of weeks ago about networking, which I'm going to post the link up here about is to create value or add value for the other organization of which you're reaching out to. And when I DM other bigger psychological channels or bigger psychological Instagram pages, I say, you know, I'd be really keen to add value for you guys. I'd like to write a blog post, maybe do a feature video for you guys, maybe write some content for your Instagram page or your social media campaigns. And that has been really beneficial for when I try to collaborate with other individuals. One of the things that you can do as well is to create innovative content that is attributable to psychology. Now, when I create my inspirational quotes or my motivational quote images, I use an app on my phone called Splasher. Now, this is an app that gives you free professional pictures that you're allowed to download and utilize at your own free will. Then use another app called Fonto where I upload the picture that I've downloaded off Splasher and I can write text on top of the image and I try and keep it uniform through all the inspirational motivational quotes that I put on my Instagram page are very similar. The text is all the same and they've got my little um, get site. Instagram and Twitter handle at the very bottom, but I can customize those images before I actually upload them into Instagram. This is a great way of keeping things looking professional and looking like you actually have a, a full entity in psychology. It also has in helped increase engagement. If somebody was to share that picture or take a screenshot and show someone else, they can see the Get Site handle at the bottom and they might want to follow Get Site. One of the key things for doing on Instagram as a psychologist or a psychology student who's looking to network to bigger audiences is to increase your engagement. Make sure you're following other psychology channels. You can follow Get Psyched as well. But make sure to be liking the pictures. Make sure to engage with those pictures and comment on the pictures. 
people can see your page, they can click on your page and then follow you. If they see that you're an engaging site that's willing to interact with individuals or other organizations, then they really like that. So that will increase your engagement and your opportunities for networking on Instagram. Now, if you get to it eventually, one of the things that you can actually use, and one of the things that I've started doing on my Get Psyched Instagram page is using Instagram TV. I actually use this to upload Get Psyched videos straight to my Instagram account because it allows me to in upload videos up to 10 minutes long. Now, this might be something that you want to utilize in the future. Maybe you've got something that you really want to get off your chest about psychology, or maybe you want to upload a mini seminar that you've done online for your Instagram audience or, or your other audiences on other social media platforms. Instagram TV could be something that you might want to consider. So my final question that maybe you're asking is what exactly is the purpose of all of this? Well, in a recent video a couple of weeks ago, I talked about the power of networking and my passion for networking for psychology students and for psychologists. So few of us in psychology utilize online platforms and utilize the opportunities for networking. And so on GetSight, I want to be a bit of a, of a platform where people can learn more about networking in psychology. They can learn more about the power of networking and actually see increases in engagement and massive opportunities as a result. So make sure to get ahead of the game and invest in these online platforms and actually get out there and network in psychology. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Get Psych. This week we've been looking at the power of Instagram for psychologists and psychology students. If you've enjoyed the video, then make sure to hit that like button. You can comment and share the videos too. And if you've been enjoying Get Psych, then you can hit the subscribe button to Get Psych and you can also hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get weekly reminders every time I upload. Once again, guys, thanks so much for watching and hopefully catch you next week.